So now I just simply say that to simply say that. Uh, are you getting, getting ready or we do the. Uh, um, yep, yeah, I am ready. You ready? I'm ready. Yeah. All right. Now, y'all get ready to be blown away for those of y'all. Look, y'all all have better, so I know y'all all love her, so I ain't even got to say nothing more than this. But like I said, her energy is off the charts, okay? She's just incredible. I love her, okay? I know y'all love her too. So y'all, please, 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 please give up the love, show the love for Tiffany, a.k.a. Marilyn Massasoit. Give it up for us. I was wondering how you said that. <laughs> Hello, once again, everybody. I'm going to set my characters up real quick so y'all can really relate to them. All right, now, right. All right, thank you. Just need one chair. Just, yeah. One chair. Yeah, my chair. Thank you. That's so nice. <clears throat> I do with my one woman show like this um, I come in raw form and I actually transition in front of you guys when I actually do it on camera uh, you won't even know who I am when I'm doing it on camera so <laughs> you guys have an op opportunity to see four of those characters that are on that poster right there and I go around and do this at churches so it is a clean production so I go around and do this at churches at schools uh, different places they actually book me to come in and do this one woman show and you guys will just see a snippet today of the show. But these characters are part of some of our plays and comedy at the crib. So we go to people's homes and do these different characters. So, um, and they relate to quite a few people in my family. Mm -hmm. All right, so the first one is Mrs. Smith. And uh, this, this part of the production takes place in an institution as well as at uh, these different characters, different businesses. All right, so you'll start to see that in a second. And literally, we only have 20 minutes left, and you guys will be getting out of here. Literally. Literally. All right. <sighs> okay. Let me get my good wig together, baby. Mm. That was for rainy days, baby. Be able to see. Got to be able to see. Got to know what I'm looking at, baby. Mm. Get your on out the way. Don't look. You might get scared, baby. Careful. <laughs> mm. Oh, don't look too hard. Woo, child. That's how I get them. <laughs> mm -hmm. there ain't no stuffing, baby. There ain't no stuffing back there. Mm -mm. Mm. That's real. Ain't no Nicki Minaj, baby. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> stuff. Got to get my good coat on, baby. Ooh, Ooh, this the good one. Told my grandbaby, don't let me ever see her come to my house in a bikini again. Mm. Had on them long stretch pants and Woo, child. that little tank top. Mm, mm, mm. This how you go out in the summertime. <laughs> <laughs> you cover it all up. I'm from the South, baby. It's how we do it. Mm -hmm. I ain't a fugitive yet. Mm. Ooh, what y'all looking at? <laughs> so yes, I'm Mrs. Smith. Mm. And the only reason why I'm here today in intervention <laughs> is because of my son's girlfriend. Mm. Almost knocked her out in church. <laughs> yes, I did. You can't fight in church and say, uh, a prayer afterwards and get forgiveness. That's in the Bible. Okay, baby, so I'm here today to avoid jail time now. Let me tell you how it all started. Back in 1959 when I met my husband, ooh, 
we met at a very strange place. I'm not going to get into that. Not today, baby. Not today. We've been married for 30 long, dry. Dry. Ooh, they've been dry. Ooh, let me take my teeth out and put them back. Ooh, they dry. Mm, mm, mm. We got two twins. New Jersey and New York. Mm. New Jersey, we call him Junior. And he very special. Ooh, he's so special. He be like, Mama, <laughs> you gonna take me to the grocery store today? I said, Junior, you 26 years old and you're still in the ninth grade. Take yourself to the grocery store. He go the keys and I'll take him back because I just tease him, baby. Say, yeah, you thought you was driving today. Not today, baby. <laughs> the other son is York. Ooh, he's so good looking. He's a good, just like me. Ooh, he get a good look for me, baby. But York is dumber than a box of rocks, baby. He dating this thing called Puerto Rico. And I'm telling you, baby, I'm about to take her out in the service. I'm about to take her out. Because this close. This close. Ooh, they held me back. They held me back, though. So, now these two sons. Even though they twins, they fraternal, baby. One of them I claim, and that's the good looking one that look like me. And the other one, I don't claim them, baby. I don't claim them. I say, we lost them at birth, baby. They say, didn't you have twins? I say, yeah, remember I lost one at birth? They say, ain't that him sitting over there? I said, that ain't my son. That's my nephew, baby. That's my nephew. He don't look nothing like me, now do he? They say, well, uh, I say, he don't look nothing like me. Now. Junior, I never claim him when we go to church. But that man thinks he can talk to any woman. He'll try to talk to anybody. He just thinks he's got the good looks, baby. So now let's get back to this story. So what happened? So I meet my son York's girlfriend for the first time up in service. And she came to my service looking like a hooker, baby. <laughs> Why you gonna bring the trash inside the church? You need to take it outside in the dumpster and dump it out, baby. He brought the trash inside the church, baby. And I said, no, y'all, don't do it, don't do it. And he did it anyway. Yeah. And she ain't even part of the United States. I keep telling them, stay across the border, baby. Don't you cross the border. I ain't for that immigration. I'm sorry, I ain't for it. <laughs> Ooh, child. So yeah, that's how it all started. And then she had her nerve to get all up in my face. Mm. And when she got all up in my face, I said, that's my son you're trying to take to talk mm -hmm. to. I brought him into this world, and guess what, baby? I snatched him out. <laughs> you ain't gonna talk to mine now, baby. <laughs> and you know what she said? Woo, child, you don't want to hear. <laughs> you know, that's what I talk about, you know? Yeah. All the time. Mm -hmm. Deal with this nonsense, you know what I say? All the time. It's ridiculous. Try to keep my boyfriends in line and everything like that. And I can't even keep one in line, you know? <laughs> That's the problem right now. You know? <laughs> so. <laughs> I feel so helpless right now. <laughs> I'm so emotional, but I really am not, you know? So the thing is, right. So I'm here at intervention. I don't know why I'm here for real. You know what I say? Because I have to do is sleep with the guy, you know? He'll let me off. You know what I say? He'll say I was here and I really wasn't, you know? That's how I do. Okay, so what happened was I went inside my boyfriend's church, right? And so, really emotional, you know, he said, because I never had to go through a time like this where I could actually get jail time, everything like that. And this was a requirement, and I have like this thing on my ankle. I don't know what it's called, but you know, I have this thing on my ankle. You know, I thought it was a ring or something, you know, somebody trying to propose, but they did it for real. So anyway, so, yeah. And, um, you know, I went into the church, right? He said, come as you is. So that's what I did, you know? I had church clothes, which were really my club clothes that I slept in, you know what I say? I got up, you know, I had my, you know, stuff all out and everything like that. But it say come as you is. That's what I did. You know, I had my little shorts on. That's how I do, you know. Mm -hmm. I love my little shorts. You know what I say? I have to show everything. You know what I say? I might get a man or something like that. Well, anyway, so I went to the church, right? When I go in, you know, 
this guy, you know, he have Usher, you know, so it's like, um, you know, he might be related to Usher, you know. <laughs> so I'm trying to go into the church and he said, Mommy, you can't come in here like that. I say, why? He said, you're dressed so inappropriately. I say, what? What are you talking about? I say, your breath? It is so inappropriate. <laughs> you know, you need a man or something like that? He said, Mommy, no, I just can't let you in here like that. He said, you know what I do? You give me your number up front, you know? You can do what you want to do. Matter of fact, I'll put you in a VIP. I say, okay, well, you know, step outside real quick, you know? And I was doing this and everything like that. I said, okay, give my number, you know? So he took my number down and everything like that. And then he said, come with me, Mommy. I'm going to sit you right in the VIP. I say, really? He said, yeah, yeah. He said, you know what? I'm going to get you two drinks, too. I say, really? He said, oh, can I get two communions over here? <laughs> See her right in the front. See her right in the front. So, you know, I sat right there in the front. You know what I say? So, you know, so I'm right there. I see his madre. She's like having some type of convulsion or a heart attack or something like that. And she's like, I can't believe you're doing this and everything like that. I'm like, what? What is going on? Everybody's looking at me up and down and everything like that. I'm like, what is going on? You know what I say? And then this lady comes over me, all in my face. I tell you, Papi, I'm about to knock her out. I tell you right now. You know what I'm saying? So she's all in my face. Like, oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe you'll come to service like that. Why, Lord? Why? Why? Come here. Get down on your knees, and I'm sure you're used to doing that. Why would you come in our service like this? It's such a disgrace. The Lord was looking down on you, and he's very, very ashamed. Me and close your eyes, me and close your eyes. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. All those things hanging out. Okay, this is a special situation. We're going to pray for her and rebuke her and every last step she took in this church. We got to rebuke. We got to rebuke. All uh, you sinners out there, I'm qualified to do stay on your knees. Stay on your knees. No, you're used to that. Okay. Let's get something straight here. Don't look at me, please. Don't. Might try to cast a spell on me. Okay. I'm Jaisy the Prayer Warrior. Some of you individuals in here got all twisted. I want to make sure you got it right to die. Okay. <laughs> This is my brother Bill's church, okay? So, as the founding member of this church, and me the co-founder, even though I'm really not by title, I really ain't, okay? By so, I get an hour of prayer time. He gets five minutes of sermon time. If any one of you have a problem with that, come say me. I'm standing right here, okay? I'm standing right here, okay? So, I'm the holiest member in this congregation. I've been here at least for 60 years. And I'm not going to have any one of you sit me down. You are all sinners. All the people that have been here are sinners. As a matter of fact, Crystal, yeah, with the camera, Crystal, I saw you last night sitting in the club. I saw you. I was doing my investigations like I always do on the weekend. Yes, I was in the club, but that's okay. It's okay if you're doing investigations. You were all up on those men. I went over there, and I told those men, she is married. And I said, but I'll take your information, and I'll pass it on to some of the single ladies. And yes, I might have three numbers in my pocket, but that's okay, because I'm single as well. So I told you, Crystal. Now what we're going to do, we're going to ball our heads, close our eyes, and pray to the law so he don't strike you down. I wish he'd bring back miracles. I promise you, I would not abuse them. I would strike people down before they even commit the crime. Dead! 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 Everybody in this room will be dead because I know they're thinking about committing some crimes right now. Yeah. Bill, I know I'm on your death list, but it's not going to happen tonight. It's not gonna... Don't look at me. First thing we're going to do is pray for this sinner right here. Mm. What's your name? It's what, 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 what? Speak English, speak English. 
Puerto Rica. Okay. We're going to pray for this Puerto Rica right here. We're going to lay good hands on her. Okay. So bow your heads, everybody. <laughs> Dear Law that hears only mine. <laughs> I come to you today to ask you, Sarah and John, why is it that every time I have prayer time, you try to use your church finger and you try to exit the building? I don't like that, and I'm on to your games. <laughs> sit down. I see you sit down. <laughs> Caroline, you're not going to do it today, Caroline. Sit down, Caroline. You know we have collection next. Uh -huh. We know you haven't been giving your tithes and your offerings. We know you're trying to exit the building, but guess what? Not going to do it today. No, you're not going to do it today. I'm calling you all out. <laughs> you know what? Get out of here. We don't want to see you back in this service again. Okay? Get out of here. That's an example of how you're not supposed to dress when you come to service. Somebody talking about some come as you are. We got robes in the back, right by the door. So if you feel you need to come as you are, put one of the robes on. Don't you ever come in this service like that again. Don't believe it, Miss Smith, trying to do some things up in here. Okay, so I'm going to ear my prayer time. As a matter of fact, we're not going to have a sermon today. We're just going to pass around the collection plate. That's what, <laughs> Bill, what you got to say, Bill? What you got to say? Sit down. That's what I thought. Okay. Mm. So we're going to pass around the collection plate. All seven of you just going to look at me like that up in this trailer. Sure. I know all seven of you. Look, look. That's what I thought. All seven of you. I rebuke all of you. Okay. So I'm going to go down to the black tie restaurant. Mm. Does anybody want anything? Good, because I wasn't going to get you nothing that way, okay? Uh, you know what? For nice service, I hope all of you get hit by a card and never come back again, so I won't have to have you on my prayer list every night. Tired of praying for you simple folks. With that being said, amen. Yeah. Oh, Coming soon. You want goodbye chicken? Yes. <laughs> yes. Hold on. First sign is suicide. Let suicide. Suicide. Like sushi. Suicide letter. Stating that you are not allergic to chicken. No, it's not going to say that you die. No, it says it's to die for. <laughs> sign there. <laughs> Stupid American. <laughs> Another one. Oh no, I said I heal it. Another one. <laughs> Beautiful America. Yes, sign. Yes. Another suicide letter. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, chicken coming soon. Here it is. Enjoy. <laughs> yes, eat up. Eat up. No, it's not going to do nothing. We use a lot of grease and flour. Oh, yes. <laughs> A lot of grief. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Hey, guys. <laughs> that is a preview of my one one show. It is actually a uh, hour long show, and I will be doing more of that show on May fifth at Nandy's um, Knowledge Cafe. And you guys gotta check out Nandy's. It's right off of Woodward and uh, basically Six Mile area. And it's an amazing uh, place, amazing. They got books on one side. Most of them are uh, artists that you may be very familiar with. 
So um, books on one side and on the other side, it has a, uh, a spot like similar to this. But there, as she actually, I think she's bought half of that building now. <laughs> she owns like, like four of those buildings right there off of Woolworth. So again, thank y'all so, so much. <laughs> We only got four poets left, so please hang around. We only got four poets left. Please patronize our back area. Um, he's actually running some discounts back there, so please patronize them. And don't forget about our art that's here. We'll have time to look at that as well. All right. All right, baby. <laughs> All right, baby. <laughs> That was good. I, I've, never, I've never seen it before. I saw your videos on YouTube, but it's different to see it in person. Yeah. It's different. I got all the voices. Right there, baby. She bent over. Right there, baby. Come on over here, baby. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Well, um, yeah, you know, maybe one day I'll, I'll, I'll show you my, my three minute show. Of the different personalities that I know. Three of your characters, really. Nah, 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 nah. Uh-uh. Nah. I want you to do my boyfriend that I'm thinking about dating. What's his name? What was his name? This man? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. 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 I, I, after that, I can't come half-ass like, oh, I know these voices. No, uh-uh. No, no, I gotta bring it. And I'm, I, hey, I'm not afraid to bring it. I will bring it. Yeah. All right. Um, that was good. Thank you. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you very much. Right there, baby. Right there.